Hey YouTubers, a working man's pride here today. Today's video is going to be on this Mr. Funnel fuel filter. Well, it's basically a funnel, but it filters out dirt. Unlike a normal funnel, which I will show you in just a minute, this filters out water. So if you have water that's accumulated in the bottom of your gas can because, well, they sweat, and if you have ethanol in them, they attract water. This right here is supposed to let the fuel flow through, but the water gets trapped, and it doesn't go through the funnel. And if you take a closer, closer look here, this is a portable fuel filter. Mr. Funnel is the brand name of it. It uh, removes water, dirt, and debris from gasoline, diesel, heating oil, and kerosene. It's self-cleaning, no replacement parts. Dirty fuel in, pure fuel out. And it filters 3.5 gallons per minute. Or, you know, however you pronounce Spanish, I do not speak foreign language. Um, so... How does it filter out water, but let gasoline flow through it? Does That doesn't make any sense to you guys. Well, let me tell you how it does this. It has what is called a hydrophobic filter. Because gas particles, or the gas molecule, it's not only lighter, but smaller in diameter than a water molecule. It lets the gas flow through. But it doesn't let the water flow through. So imagine sand and then a big chunk of dirt. You have a piece of screen on a window. The sand's going to go through the screen, but the big chunk of dirt's not. Because the big chunk of dirt's bigger in diameter. Same thing here. This is smaller in diameter to the, mo the gas molecule than the water molecule. And that's what lets it flow through that hydrophobic filter versus the water. So... I'm going to get this out of the box. I have not used it yet because I've been saving it for a video. And we're going to actually see if it really does what it says it does. Now, I am not going to throw dirt in my brand new funnel because let me tell you this. If this, the filter on this thing is fine enough to not let water pass through, then it's for darn sure fine enough to not let dirt pass through. So I'm not throwing dirt in my uh, brand new funnel. So you can get that out of your head. I'm purely seeing whether it can filter water out or not. So, let me get my tools right up here, and I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty, so here's the funnel. Can't see through it because on the inside, there's your hydrophobic filter. Versus a regular funnel. Which has no form of uh, filter in it at all. It's just purely funneling the gas into a smaller tube. Well, you know what I mean. But we're going to actually see today whether this really works. The first test is we're just going to dump pure water in it and see if anything comes out of it. So I have a dry bucket here, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take water, and I'm just going to dump the water, some of the water in here, and see see if it even passes through or not. And, because uh, we're just going to do pure water first. And then we're going to mix the water and the fuel, and and I'm going to measure the fuel out in ounces. That way, when it drains, y'all know that it, it's the same amount of uh, fuel that I put into the funnel. We're not going to measure how much water I'm putting in there. We're just worried about if, say, I put six ounces of gas if six ounces of gas mixed with water comes out of that funnel just gas but we're going to test first if any water will even come out of the filter if we put it in there then we're going to do the gas thing dry cup plop the funnel in make sure it doesn't fall over there now it is resting on the bottom and i will pick it up as uh we put this water in I have not opened this water yet, so y'all know it's fresh water. Let me get the uh, camera set up here.
boom. So now you know that that was no trickery. Ready? There is a little bit of dust in here from sitting in the workshop in the funnel. Alright, let's gotta hold it. Make sure it doesn't try to tip over on me. Because it's already trying to. Oh, why don't we just go ahead and pour all of it in there? And there is 16.9 fluid ounces of water in this fresh bottle. And as you can see. Oh my god. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It is literally no water dripping out of this. I'm sure the inside of the funnel, the tube in there is dry. Because I just poured all that water in. It's not at all draining. Nothing. Well good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix gas and water together. I'm gonna measure the gas out and then pour water in and we're gonna see if we get the amount of ounces of gas that I measured out first. So let me get this system set up real quick. All righty, this gas is very expensive and I don't know, I really don't care. I'll probably only get like 20 views on this video. <laughs> but, we're going to put 6 ounces of pure gasoline in here. This is ethanol free, by the way. Oh yeah, let me undo the vent. Durr. There we go. This is my favorite gas can, by the way. Not that y'all give two craps. If you're probably like, we don't care. So the video. Alright, we're almost at 6 ounces here. You can tell it's definitely gasoline. And I don't really understand why I would trick you. Oh, because gas prices are going up. Oh, see, look, I can't even hold the camera and pour gas in a cup at one time. Let's let that rest there. She's right at that six ounce mark, baby. And now, this workbench is not like 100% perfectly level, and I don't think anything on earth is, but it's level enough for this test. So, now I'm going to pick that funnel up and. We're actually, you know what would have been a good, better idea? I'm going to take that gas and I'm going to transfer it into a different cup. One that's not dirty, because that one's dirty. And then we're going to pour it in. Hold up. Let me set y'all down here. Alright. So you can see that we have exactly six ounces of gas still. Let's settle. All right, settle now. Simmer down, child. I said stop moving. Or else you're going to get. I will light you on fire. I'm just not in here. All right. So because this is not exactly one cup, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into a, a measuring cup. This is one cup since it's perfectly clean in the bottom. Very close to one cup. Uh, I believe this measuring cup's off. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna take this, move it. I'm gonna we'll take the funnel, which still has not dripped any freaking water out. Amazingly, the bottom of the tube inside is dry. Let me feel that again. Oh yeah. Still has water in it. I put it in the vise over here since this thing has little cutouts. It has not dripped any water. So we're going to take six ounces of gas. 
And we're just going to go ahead and dump it in. And I can already hear it automatically separating. It's slowing down. Come on now. Do we do have a lot of water in here, folks? And uh water always floats to the bottom. And if you look, there's a lot of water. So you gotta think. We're gonna lose a little bit, I assume. But it's still dripping. Because it is letting the gas particles only go through that filter because there's such a small amount of gas only left in there it is gas is finding its way to that filter and it's only letting the gas go through so eventually all of that will catch up down here we're, we're a couple drips away so i think it's safe to say that that is 100 percent accurate i mean it it's only letting the gas pass through. I'm going to dump this water out. I'm going to set this in this cup here. I'm going to take a look inside at this gasoline. As you can see, it's not cloudy. It looks like pure freaking gasoline, y'all. Focus. Concentration! Technical difficulties with this. Ah, there we go. Yeah, see? Crystal clear. Now, it's because of the plastic of this cup. is unfortunately a, a cloudy type of plastic. But when you look directly into it at the gas, you can see the bottom. What is that floating at the bottom? Oh, uh, wait a second. It looks like a part, a water particle. You see that? Hmm. I do not know if that is out of my gas cans that sit in the workshop um, in the hot, cold, hot, cold. Or if that was from the funnel. But it's one little droplet. Let's see if I can't... Where is it? Where'd it go? It's right there. Y'all can't see it. Oh, it's, you see it? Hope you do. Yeah, you can see it. It's right, right where my finger's at. Look right where my finger's at. Boom, right there. You see it when the glare hits it. That's a water particle. Now, like I said, that could be out of the gas can, or that could literally be from that filter. I have no clue. But, it's safe to say, that filter does an amazing, amazing job, even if that was all it gave us, as far as water coming out of it. So, either way, this wasn't like a 100% accurate test, because them gas can't sit over there and all. But, uh, either way, if that did come out the filter, I think it's safe to say that that's pretty impressive, because the water, look at all that water in there. We can even look at the bottom of this cup. The gas dripped out. But the cup was already dirty. Alright, that is going to wrap up today's video, folks. I appreciate y'all guys watching. I think this is a really cool little funnel. Um, it worked quite well. Like I said, don't know whether that was out of my gas can or out of the funnel. But either way, whether it was out of the funnel or not, that's, that's pretty darn impressive. Um... You can pick these up on Amazon. That's where I bought this because I seen a guy named by the name of uh, what's his name, Eliminator Performance, small engine mechanic, lives over in Canada. Um, he posted a video of this and it didn't let any water flow through. So I said, "All right, well I'm gonna purchase one and see if it really works." And uh, well, it obviously really does work. And if you look on the back of this box here, it tells you all about it. So. Pick yourself one up off of Amazon. It was like, what, not even 20 bucks. It was less than that, 15 bucks, something like that. I think it was $15 and something. But uh, very, very uh, nice piece of equipment to have, a tool. 
whatever you want to call it. Uh, thank you guys for watching A Working Man's Pride.